Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I want to show how to actually read in data from an Excel spreadsheet and store it into a Word document, but it's going to be broken up into at least two sessions. And this session here, we're just going to show how you actually read in the data from Excel spreadsheet using Visual Basic for Application, um, which is also known as VBA. So, what we're going to actually try to read in is this spreadsheet over here that I have called Sample Data. Uh, you can see I have two sheets here filled with information. They both have the same columns, first name, last name, email, phone number. And uh, we're going to read that into a script. So without further ado, first thing you actually want to do, and there's several ways you can actually do this, but the way I know best is um, just open up a new Word document, click File, Save As. And when you select the types, select dot m for me uh, this is actually a word document that you can embed macros and scripts into it so let's just call this script the macro generator and if you actually select alt and push f11 at the same time you bring up the actual editor and through here you want to do a couple of things you want to create a user form and the class. Um, so the class, what we actually want to do is just create a couple of variables here just so it can store the information in the spreadsheet. So let me go ahead and do that real quick. And if you remember, um, it correlates to each one of these columns here. There's the first name variable, first name column, last name, email, and phone number. Um, so before we do anything else with the script, what we're actually going to have to do is add a reference to the Microsoft Excel library. By default, it's not selected, so you just got to go ahead and find it real quick and select OK. Uh, for those who are using an older version of uh, Microsoft Office, you might see Excel 12.0 or older. Um, don't be worried about that. They should pretty much be using the same function calls that I'm going to be using in this Excel 14.0 object library. So just select that. And what we're going to do here is just create a couple of uh, labels, a couple of text boxes, whatever the heck it is, there we go so what we're going to do here just going to rename this label Excel location going to be Word document location. I'll get into that a little bit later. Just and expand this out. Expand this out. And here I'm going to reference the actual folder location of uh, the spreadsheet itself. So go here. I'll just click on this path here. And the name of the spreadsheet is. I'll just tack that onto the end. And, um, should I know there's an option here to actually make it wrap around? There we go, multi line. And what we're going to do is actually create a button here. This is going to pretty much grab the data and paste into documents. So now that we have that, let me just rename this text box the Excel text box. I'm going to rename this one the Word text box double click on grab that and paste 
and now we're ready to start coding so here what I'm going to do is just create a variable array person list of type person class or should I say class 1 um, it's got to be the name of this class over here so actually why don't I just go ahead and rename it to what it's supposedly representing so create a local variable index which is going to represent it's going to help us actually um, increase the size of this array and we're going to create a couple of uh, variables here to actually open up the Excel spreadsheet so just bear with me follow along Spread this out, get some more real estate there. And this line of code here um, opens up the actual spreadsheet and it tells it to activate sheet one. If you recall here, um, most Excel spreadsheets, when you open to create a new one, it comes with three sheets here, or I should say tabs. And um, if you actually open this one, say, and you close it, you save it, when you open it up, it'll automatically be in sheet 3 so this line of code tells it to open up the spreadsheet and then activate open up sheet 1 so let's do this um, what I'm gonna do over here is quickly make uh, another function get Excel data by ref person list as person class as integer again let me just spread this out a little bit more um, so what we're going to do over here is a couple more variables temp string equals blank okay we're going to read we're going to read in the actual rows with a while loop while temp string not equals zzz um, I just have a zzz denoting the end of the actual list in each of those sheets within the Excel spreadsheet so once this reads that it knows to actually stop reading so it doesn't read in all uh, hundred thousand probably rows you can actually put so just continue on here I'm resizing the class array and it's very important that you actually use the word preserve because if you actually increase the size of the array without that you basically re any data you have on any previous index and what here we're going to do is actually read in the actual cell contents and we're going to store that into the array at index 0 first name member variable and to save time let me just copy and paste this three more times because we got to do this for uh, columns A, B, C, and D which has the first name, last name, email, phone number okay shoot increase the row and 
we're going to have it read ahead to the next row to see if it actually catches disease Z, which will tell this to stop uh, looping or if it's not at disease Z yet it's a new entry to actually read in so if we go back up we're going to call this class so we're going to tell it get excel data person list and we're going to pass in the index and that's going to read the data on sheet one then we're going to go ahead and tell the worksheet to open up sheet two which has the other data activate and then we're going to call this function again it's probably not the most elegant way to actually call this uh, to read two different tabs but there we go. So this is just for educational purposes. And we're going to tell the workbook to actually close. So I think for now that's pretty much handles that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close this uh, Excel file. And what I'm going to do is debug through this so you can see exactly what the code is doing. So it brings up the spreadsheet. So if we actually um, see if I can try to make this slightly bigger or just kind of move this out of the way a little bit. Probably won't be able to see everything but bear with me. So there we go, it's going into the function while temp string equals not equals zero or z z z increases the index, increases the size of the array and here we're actually going to be reading the cell. So reading column A at row 2, we start off at row 2, we're bypassing row 1 which is just the column headers and we're going to be getting the data. You can kind of follow along here. You see it uh, getting the actual different variables across the row. Increase the row and we're getting all of this data. What row are we on? Row 7. And we're on row 12. To see the different reading the row that has Charles. You can see Charles over here. There's McMillan. And just FYI, these names are made up. So if you guys cares about that, you guys know. And actually, to kind of get out of there, let me just click this and let me make force this to kind of hurry up. Okay, so now I'm back here. This is going to tell the spreadsheet to open sheet two, or should I set the set the focus to sheet two. You see, we're in sheet two. Calls a function again and it's going to do the same thing. It's going to just traverse through, it's going to read in the actual rows into the person class. Just so you guys see, we're in row 11, here's 11. So after reading column A at that row is Jerry, last name Wayne, his email, and his number. So now here goes to row 20. And now we finally get to the end ZZZ is equal to ZZZ. So we get out of the loop. It's done. Close the, the workbook and you have just read in the Excel data. In the next video I'm going to show you how to actually use that and paste that into a Word document into tables. So that's it. Thanks guys.